Hello. I am finally ready to show you my house. <laughs> it's been, uh, what, two and a half months since we moved in, roughly. Um, but I kind of wanted to get everything in order. And it's kind of hard when you're working every day and, and doing stuff. So, um, But I want to show you around, let you see the place. Um, you know, it's, I still have a few boxes downstairs, but it's because it's stuff that I have to keep down here because I need it on a regular basis and I don't really have anywhere else to put it right now. I didn't want to go put it up in the attic because then it wouldn't be easily accessible. So uh, we're here at the front door. Here's the front door. I'm going to turn you around now so you can actually see stuff. First is Evie. Say hey, girl. Hey, kitty. You say hey. What is that? Is that? I don't know. Well, she just wants me to feed her. She's always, always ready to eat. Um, I did want to tell you before I go any further. Um, we do not have the puppy anymore. I um, I found that taking care of a puppy was a lot more work than I had time for. Um, I I just I don't have time for a puppy at this point in my life. I wish I did, but I really don't. It's like having an infant in the house, and I was I was exhausted. I wasn't sleeping well anyway. Um, I just got a lot going on right now. And some friends of mine fell in love with her. Their kids fell in love with her, and they asked if they could take her home with them. And I thought about it and talked to them, and um, I decided that that would be the best thing for her. They're going to keep her name. They love the name Lilu. And they have a, a boy and a girl about my kid's age, and they just they just love her. So um, she's doing really well. She's actually grown a lot in the last month. I think she's going to end up being bigger than I thought she was going to be. But um, I still want to get a dog, but I still want to get an older dog. I'm just really glad I was there, and I could get her out of the road and save her, you know, and, and find a good home for her. So she's doing really well. They send me pictures sometimes, and... She seems to be really happy, so um, she's she's good, but she's not here with me anymore. Um, I can still go see her if I want to, so that's pretty cool. So now I'm going to show you around for real. <laughs> Sorry, I just a lot of people have asked about her, and I just wanted to let you know that. Um, okay, we're going to start with the downstairs part. So you come in, so you have the front door here. You come in, and you have the stairs that go up, and we'll we'll go up there and look around a little bit. But you come in, I love my new rug. I bought a rug, a little floor rug at Aldi, but then I found this one that I like better. I love the colors. Look at the beautiful colors in this rug. And it's incredibly soft. It's actually a little bit dirty right now. It's very soft. It has kind of like memory foam. I love it. It's so pretty. Um, you come in here. And this I had at the apartment. You might have seen it in a couple of my videos. It's, it's made of metal. It's little metal butterflies on this metal piece. It's, it's all metal. Um, and then I bought this after I moved here. I just thought it would look nice here. And this is where the washer and dryer are. And then I also bought this. And this is also metal. I just, I love the colors. I just thought it was really pretty. So this is the kitchen. Um, I have a little porch there. The backyard I've done some work on. I'll just open this door here. I'll let you look out really quick. I need to mow again. I just, believe it or not, I just mowed this two days ago. And we have had so much rain. It is crazy how much rain we've had. And the grass just grows like uh, like crazy. You can see my big uh, bush back here. It's basically just a giant chrysanthemum. <laughs> look how big this thing is. And this is after I trimmed it back. And it has just blossomed. You can see that the bumblebees love it. See, there's a bumblebee right there. The bumblebees love it. And then we have these here, these bugs right here. I forget what they're called, but uh, they're not a bumblebee, but they kind of look like a bumblebee. But they kind of fly around like a hummingbird, you see? Every now and then you'll see butterflies on it, but it's usually bumblebees. There's one, look. Oh, he flew away. Well, never mind. I scared the crap out of him. He left. I'm sorry. And then I have a butterfly bush, which never has butterflies on it. <laughs> like, literally, almost never. Um, but, yeah. I just I just mowed this grass, and it is already just crazy. I'm going to have to get out here and mow again probably tomorrow. Um, I do all my own yard work. 
I really enjoy doing yard work. I know that's crazy, but I, I do I do enjoy doing it. I'm going to be doing some landscaping around the front of the house later. Uh, I was going to do it tomorrow, but it's going to be super hot, and I don't want to do it when it's hot. But I'm going to be doing some work around the front. I keep the blinds up because this is the cat's TV. They love to look out at the birds and all the things flop. <laughs> Blah. Evie just blob. That was a good girl. That's a good girl. They like to sit here and look out, and usually you can see little triangle nose prints on the window where they sit and look out. So this is their TV. This is their favorite show. Hey, girl. Hey. Mm. Evie's very happy. Pumpkin spends most of her day upstairs. Um, I haven't seen her in a little while. But you might, I don't know if you ever saw this at the, the apartment. I've had this, this is an actual painting. I've had this for a long time. Um, so I um, this is the kitchen area here. We have our eclipse glasses. We are ready for the eclipse on August 21st. Um, got three pairs, we're gonna go down and see that on Monday. I have bought a few decorative pieces. Some of these I already had at the apartment to go up there. I got um, these items here. I got that blue vase up there just recently, and I got that really tall one recently, too. I'm going to get a few more things to put up there. One thing I got just yesterday was this wooden vase. It's solid wood. Look at that cool. I got that at Goodwill for $2. I thought that was really pretty. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was $2.99. Cool. So I'm going to stick that up there somewhere. It's Right now it lives on top of the refrigerator. Um, doo -doo -doo. What else? Oh, I have some props for an upcoming video. I have a Waffle House hat. I have some Waffle House earrings. And there are Waffle House mugs in here. And some sunglasses that I got at Ollie's for $2.99 a pair. Um, yeah. I just left them there. I don't know what I'm going to do with them right now. Okay, now let me take you this way. Okay, so this is the kitchen area here. I'm going to take you back around to the front door. I have this little bench here that you can put shoes on. I love it. I got it on Amazon. I just love it. And my little table, this is where my purse sits. <laughs> this little table here. And it's actually not held together by any nails or screws or anything. It's interlocked pieces of wood. Look at this. See these pieces? They're just they're just interlocked. And that's how it's held together. That's, wow. that's it. Um, okay, this is my living room right here. The Papa San chair is really ugly, but I love it. It's my favorite seat. That's my favorite piece of furniture, as ugly as it is. <laughs> that's the most comfortable thing in this whole house. And the sofa and my pictures there. Oh, Evie's mad because I. She says, "Oh my God, I have to lie down on this uncomfortable thing." <laughs> she likes to lie down on that bench, and she has anointed it with her cat hair. Mm -hmm. Sorry, she's just. Okay, and over here is the um, little fireplace, and it does work. But I probably won't use it. It's just messy. And this is the dining room. Now, I do still have some boxes in here. Um, a lot of that is eBay stuff, and a lot of it is YouTube stuff. It's eBay and YouTube. That's pretty much it. And here is where my table is going to go when I get it. Uh, there is one table that I want, and World Market sells it. And I just found out we are getting another World Market in Greensboro. Uh, we had one here years ago, and then they closed probably about three years ago. So the closest one right now is in Winston-Salem, which isn't terrible, but we are getting another one. They're building a new shopping center here in Greensboro, and we're going to get another world market, which I just found out, so I'm really excited. They have this table, and it's going to go right here. It's the only table I want. I call it the table, because for me, it is the table. It's called the uh, Galvin Cafeteria Table. I love it. I love it so much. Um, it goes on sale about twice a year. The normal price is $800, but it goes on sale for $600. I'm basically really just waiting for it to go on sale again. And when it does, I'm going to get it. It's very heavy. It's about 200 pounds. 
but I'm going to get it and I'm going to put it right there. <laughs> so that's what I'm waiting for. And once I have the table in here, I will find a better place to put all that stuff. But for right now, it's not bothering anybody. So I just leave it in the corner. And then these are the shelves that I had in the bathrooms at the apartment. And I just have some of my little knickknacks on my shelves. Um, it's nothing. It's just an assortment of weird things that I like. <laughs> like this. I don't even know what that says. It has something on it. I don't know. It's a it's a lizard. So see, it's made of metal. And then I have my Greensboro tag back there. I have another one. Oh, it's upstairs somewhere. Actually, it's in a box. Um, a little bell. I love this fish. Look at this. This is a real Swedish fish. Believe it or not. <laughs> It's a Scott, a Stockholm's, I, I don't, I don't know, some glass, like, I'm not even going to try to read that, but it's from, I think it's from Stockholm, Sweden. <laughs> I found it at Goodwill for $5. I just thought it was a really neat piece. And if it's drug paraphernalia, don't bother to tell me. It's, it's I don't care. I just like the way it looks. Um, and this is my starfish. It's very heavy. It's, it's made of... Something heavy. It's like a rock or something. It's really heavy. There's little birds here. <laughs> and this fish you might remember from the bitchy um, bank loan officer person. <laughs> and my metal cactus. Which is very similar to my metal lizard up there. I bought them separately though. Um, this was handcrafted by Bavano of Cheshire, USA. It has a little armadillo base. And then this plate I had in the living, in the kitchen at my apartment. And a vase that I thought was cool. And a little clay elephant. <laughs> um, so I just decided to put the shelves there. I, they don't really go in the bathrooms. So I just left them down here. And my bicycle picture I had at the apartment too. So, um, so this is the living room here. I'm going to mount the TV on the wall. I haven't done that yet. I have the stuff to mount it. I just haven't. The guy that owned the house before apparently had his TV mounted here. And you can see where he had it bolted to the wall. So we go this way. And we go to the stairs. I'm going to turn the light on. Okay. This is a bass that I caught when I was 12. 11 or 12. Uh, down in Florida when I was staying with my aunt and uncle for a week. Uh, we went fishing and, and uh, caught this, and I used my allowance to have it taxidermied. So I was really proud of that. That was the first uh, really good-sized bass I ever caught. So we're going to go upstairs. I've caught bigger bass since then, but I, I'm still most proud of that one. So we go up the stairs. And I have the little bathroom. It's really nothing exciting. The boys both asked me to leave their doors shut. They didn't want anybody to see their room, which I respect that. They always look like a bomb went off in there anyway, so I didn't want to scare you. So we're going to leave their doors shut. <laughs> this bear right here, I want to show you. This Barnes & Noble bear I purchased at Goodwill, I don't know, probably a year ago. Evie loves this bear. <laughs> If she reacts to it the way she does catnip, she'll lick it and rub on it. She lays on it. A lot of times she'll come up here and take a nap, just kind of curl up right here and sleep with the bear. It's like her little boyfriend or something. It's really weird. Um, this is a real painting right here. I found this at Goodwill. I think it was like $10 or something. And it was painted by Weber. But it's, you know, obviously the Bob Ross style. Evie. <laughs> the world was that? What are you doing? What are you doing, girl? She loves, she'll see stuff and she jumps up at it. She can jump really high. You're a weirdo. Kitty, kitty. Are you a weirdo? It's a little strange. So yeah, it's obviously done in the Bob Ross style. I just thought it was really pretty and it was already in this frame. So I put it up here at the top of the stairs. And we come down the hallway and there's another one, and this was also a real painting. And I also got this one at Goodwill. I think I paid fifteen for this one, um, but it's 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 real. It's I just thought it was really pretty. So this is my room, which you have seen in in various 
ways in my videos. It's messy right now, uh, but it's messy because of YouTube. <laughs> this is all YouTube right here. All this stuff, this is all YouTube. <laughs> That's why I have all this stuff in here. It's still kind of set up for my library video um, because I wanted to do another video over here. I just haven't done it yet. So I still have my camera here, my microphone here, um, and I had the computer over here on a chair. So that's what, that's what literally all of this <laughs> is for YouTube videos. Um, so I have my bed in the corner. Um, a lot of this stuff you might have seen in different videos from when I lived at the apartment. It's all basically the same stuff. I still have this out from doing a sparkly friend video two weekends ago. <laughs> And I have um, some Volkswagen bus pictures in here. I have that one, this one, and this one. And I got these on Amazon. So I just thought they were cool. And in here, Evie's just following me around. So you open these doors and you have the little, the little bathroom area. I put one of the jewelry armoires in here. This is one of them. I don't know if I've ever shown you all this stuff. I'm pretty sure I have. But that's like maybe a quarter of my necklaces in my closet, which is messy right now. That's some um, again, YouTube. A lot of these props, these are YouTube things up here. And I have some YouTube um some things that I want to wear in some videos, like this vest right here. Um, let's see what I can find. This dress right here is definitely YouTube. <laughs> Look at that. That's YouTube for sure. Um, this is a jumpsuit. That's YouTube. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. It just takes over. Um, but these are like my spring and summer clothes for the most part. I have a few fall and winter things in here, but for right now... I have a lot of spring and summer stuff in here, like I have all my dresses in here. And I have some skirts in here. And just that's all YouTube. So, and this is my big mirror. And I have the two medicine cabinets on each side, which is great. And I don't know, it's some, I like the place. I really like my house. I'm very happy with it. It's almost like my time in the apartment was just a bad dream and it's finally over. <laughs> and I'm really happy. Um, you can see up here it's, I have a vaulted ceiling, but only in this only in this room. And Evie's pushing the door open. What are you doing, girl? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to close you up in there. But it's, it's very open in here. It's very big. <laughs> I like that. The only problem with it is it causes an echo in my videos. Oh, someone asked me if I would do a video of um, handling patterns. It's like sewing patterns. So you will be happy to know that yesterday I acquired three patterns. And we're going to make some videos with that. Um, I, I have a lot of videos in mind, but I've been... I have not been in the best frame of mind lately. I've been pretty depressed and I've had a hard time with that. It's kind of hard to make videos when I get like that. So um, I'm kind of I'm behind schedule at this point. So this is the upstairs part. And you can see out. You can see my, my crepe myrtle out there is blooming. You can see the pretty flowers on my, my crepe myrtle. You don't really notice how tall it is until you come in here and look at it. Uh, it's pretty big. We'll go back downstairs. I definitely feel at, at home here now. I mean, I feel like I've kind of arranged everything to the point where I feel comfortable. Which is, is nice. It's I don't like having to live out of boxes. It's no fun. So, this is my home. And my son was complaining because this hangs down and he hit his head on it. But I told him eventually we're going to have the table right here and you're not going to be walking under it anymore. Um, <laughs> I like this light because 
It has a, a dimmer, a little dimmer switch right here. See? I like that. That's really cool. And then these pictures I got at Goodwill. These big pictures here. I think they were $12 each. I don't remember. But I thought they would look really cool in here. Those are kind of big and neat. So I bought those about a month ago and put them up in here. So as soon as I find a table, I will be forced to deal with all that stuff. So anyway, this is my house. And I really like it here. I have my big crystal angel. I like angels because it reminds me of a character in the story I wrote. One of the main characters is an angel. Now he's an angel of Satan, but he's still a pretty good guy. He's one of the good guys in the story. So anyway, this is my house. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tour. And um, yeah, that's about it. I'll feel better left after I get the, the dining room table. Because uh, you have to assemble it yourself, so that's going to be a challenge. Um, and from all the reviews I've read, they say you want to go ahead and assemble it wherever you, it's ultimately going to be because once you assemble it, you are not moving it because it is just so heavy. Um, so once I get it here and get it assembled and, and put up, I will feel like I've finally officially moved into this house. So, But anyway, in the meantime, we're good. We have a little table in the kitchen in there that we, we use a lot. We sit in there to eat, and it works pretty well. So anyway... Thank you so much for watching. It has been, if you've been with me through this whole ordeal, you know that I was miserable in the apartment and I'm so, I have to tell you, I'm so much happier now in this place than I was in that horrible apartment. So it's a relief to finally be in a nice quiet neighborhood and a nice quiet house where I can have some peace. <laughs> so it's, it's great. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again soon.